Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him tonight. Somebody worship him tonight. Somebody worship God tonight. If you open for that day, somebody open the mouth and give a praise. Somebody shout out the King of Glory tonight. Somebody declare the Master. Somebody exalt the Maker. Somebody call Shatta Bahia. Somebody exalt him. Somebody praise him. Somebody call Shatta. Somebody lift him up. But I shall rest. I know I'm gonna rest in the eye of the storm. Come on, somebody help me shout hallelujah in this beautiful atmosphere. Jump to your feet and lift your voice at the count of three. Help me shout. You know what to shout. It is now according to our clock. It is April 1st. Somebody help me shout. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Apostle Baker, happy birthday. Somebody shout. Glory to God. What a moment to deliver the word to God's people. What a birthday gift. It's an honor and a privilege. So happy birthday. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Give the Lord Jesus Christ a high praise tonight. Come on somebody clap those hands and celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords celebrate the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. His name is Yeshua Amashua. Somebody give him a high praise tonight. Come on, warriors, you can do better than that. Give him a high praise tonight. He is Jesus Christus. He is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Somebody shout one more. High praise unto him which is which was and is to come the almighty god somebody praise him he's yahweh come on and praise him he's yashua come on and praise him he's elohim he's el shaddai he's el elon he is el makadash there is none like him he's the el shaddai somebody open your mouth and shout a glory hallelujah Shout a glory. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. So today is the first of April. Somebody give God a praise. Thank you, Daddy. I just got to give him a high hallelujah. I just got to give him a high praise. From the Gautamus and to the Ottomus. Somebody give him one more shout. Declare from the Gautamus to the Ottomus, from the pit to the pulpit, from condemnation. Come on, warriors. To the Ottomus, from the Ottomus, to the Gautamus, from the Ottomus, to the Ottomus. From the Ottomus to the Gautamus. Hey! From the gutter bus to the other hotter, from the gutter bus to the other hotter, 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 and from the gutter bus to the other bus, from the gutter bus to the other bus, from the gutter bus to the other bus, from the gutter bus to 
the uttermost, from the uttermost to the Clap your hands, warriors. Clap your hands, worshippers. Open your mouth and shout at the King of Kings. Reach at the person next to you and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You are at the right place, at the right time for your miracle. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Clap your hands and lift Jesus higher. He's worthy to be praised. While you remain standing, please turn your Bibles with me to Exodus chapter 12. God is a good God. Exodus chapter 12. There is none like him. He's Lord. He's God and he is master. He is the one that deserves all of our worship. Come on, somebody. Jesus Christ is the one that deserves all our praise. There is none like him. When you see me praising God, leave me alone. You don't know the hell I've been through. Come on, somebody. You don't know the gutter that he's taking me out of. So leave me alone. Let me praise my God. Come on, touch somebody. Tell them, excuse me. Let me praise my God, for God has been good to me. I can't ask Tush. I can't ask Santimonas. I got to lose myself. When I'm in the presence of God, I just got to lift him higher. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor. Say, look at me good. I'm not Saul. I am David, baby. Come on, tell him, I am not Saul. I am David. When it comes on to worship, excuse me. Uh -huh. I lose my dignity. I, I lose my all my accolades and just kick off all of that like David. Throw off David, just throw off the royal robe. And so when I'm in the presence of God, I'm no royal. When I'm in the presence of God, I'm a boy, a baby. I forget what I acquire in life. I put that one side and I lift Jesus higher. We are all the worshippers. But Saul is watching who is beside him. It's, you know, Micah, Saul's daughter who get the spirit from Saul. And when David is worshiping God, she's looking and who is looking on David and complaining and talking about how David is operating like one of those uh, peasant boys in Israel acting. Why David have to behave himself like that before the common people? And David said, you don't see nothing yet. When I'm in the presence of God, I'll forget about what I own and who you think I am. And I'll just praise God. There's 10 people in here. Oh, Jesus, touch you people and tell them, don't despise my praise. Oh, tell them, don't you dare to despise my praise. Oh, the Bible said, because she despises David's praise, she was struck with barrenness in her home so there's two people in the room one said they despise to worship and the other said they just love the glory they just love the presence so they just worship God and forget about what they're going through oh Jesus the Bible said God struck her with barrenness in her home so if you don't praise God you are barren if you don't want to worship him, you are good for nothing. And if you don't want to praise him, then the rocks, the sticks and the stones, and I'm not allowing no rock, no stick, no stone to praise God in my stead. So when I walk into a house like this, if you act stiff and you don't want to praise God, I'm going to praise God for me. And I'm going to praise God for you. I'll do a double worship. I'll worship God for me and for you. And when the breakthrough I come, I'll take yours too. You didn't want it in the first place. Somebody open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Shout a glory. So, we are a set of crazy worshippers. 
But there's something about the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. We are a Bible believing church. Come on, tell somebody we are a Bible believing church. We believe the word of God is infallible, flawless. Anything you read in the Bible and it seems like contradiction, it means that you need to study some more. We are the worshipers who understand that Isaiah let the church know when the church come on the scene that the church must learn how to divide the word of truth. Isaiah said, you must take a little here and a little there, line over here and line over, and precept over here and precept over there. Come on, somebody, here a little, dear a little. Come on, warriors, you believe God. So we're going in the world. Can we take 10 minutes and dig up something deep? Are you with me? Come on, open your mouth and say something, man. It's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. Let's read Exodus 12. Exodus is the second book of the Bible and 12 is the number of government, divine government. So when we're at Exodus now and we're at chapter 12, if you multiply 12 by 2, you get what? And we are, the year, we are in the era of what? So reach your neighbor said this word was designed by God for this year. Open your mouth. We are declaring the 24 elders. Clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. I'm not coming with no new revelation. Touch your neighbor. Say, Bishop is not coming with no new revelation. It is always there in the word. But the God have some people that he give binacle and send them to dive off and pull up something deep. Come on, somebody, clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus. When you're at, at Exodus chapter 12, just say amen. amen. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. You see how God operates? God will, upper, will, will visit in the middle of the year and say, this month in the middle of the year is the beginning of the months for you. It's a new year for you. Are you coming with me? Hallelujah to God. Verse 2. And speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the how much? In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to their house, to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. So on the tenth day, Every house, every family must take a lamb and bring it into their house. So every home need a lamb. Are you with me? Verse 3. And if the household be too little for a lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of persons. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. So it depends on the amount of person and the size of the lamb. Are you there with me? We are at verse what? Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the what? So the lamb must be an ear old. One ear old. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Verse 6. And ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month. From the tenth to the fourteenth. Hallelujah. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it 
in the evening and if you go down it tell you what to do with the blood put the blood strike it on the lintel and strike it on the doorpost and he's coming into egypt and everything shall turn around let us talk to our daddy eternal god and our savior yahweh that creates the heavens and the earth god of abram isaac and of israel we thank you because you are god and you stand alone you are our creator you are our shepherd we are the sheep of your pasture speak one more time guide my tongue let me preach your word skillfully have your way arise and let all your enemies be scattered somebody clap your hands and praise the name of the lord come on praise the name of the lord somebody say turn to three people and tell them everything becomes new newness of life clap your hands and praise the lord come on slap that seat and say newness of life and sit down in newness of life come on somebody sit down in the new move of god god is a good god are you in church tonight uh, hallelujah questions been asked i want to ask the question tonight was jesus born the 25th of the 12 month was jesus born the 25th of december why you say no are you sure it is no right if you ask me there is a big n o hallelujah so why does christianity celebrate the 25th of december for the birth of the messiah can a Christian take a day and use that day to worship, use that day and celebrate that day as the day, the birth of the Messiah. Can a Christian do that? It is known across the world, thank God for Google and Siri and those things you get on and you ask some question and knowledge increase because of these platforms huh? and uh, we realize that the 25th of the 12th month is a well-known feast day it is worship in hinduism so the Hindus have no problem with the 25th of the 12th month. It is worship in ancient Babylon. And so the Babylonians have no problem with uh, the 25th of the 12th month. It is worship in various religions across the world. When you go back and look on the 25th of the 12th month, they'll tell you that is a Babylonian feast day. And the question is, because we'll ask some questions, why are you celebrating this day for the birth of the Messiah? And the answer, we are not worshiping babylonian feast days we are worshiping jesus christ and then question is asked is that okay with god we go back to the holy scriptures because whenever a question is asked concerning god your answer must be according to the word god don't need your ideologies or mine God gave direction and truth in his word. And so when we go in the scriptures, we realize that God has never 
accept his people using a pagan worship to worship him. We see Israel was at the Mount of Sinai. Moses was on the mount for 40 days and 40 nights. And the children of Israel, Korah and his crew, went to Aaron and put pressure on Aaron. And, and said, we don't know what had become of this Moses. He's gone away and perhaps he's dead. Hallelujah to God. And so we need to worship Jehovah. But we want to worship him the way we know how in Egypt. So Aaron said, instruct Israel, take the golds, gold ring, ears ring, and gold bangles. And they put it together and they decorate and make a bull. A golden calf. And then Israel begin to worship the golden calf. But worshiping the golden calf, this is what Israel said. We worship you, Jehovah, that deliver us out of the hand of Egypt. So they were using the golden calf to worship Jehovah. And when Moses came, he said, I heard the sound. And this sound does that sound like a sound of them that overcame. This sound sound like pagan worship. The anger of Jehovah kindled. And Moses was so angry he took the two tablets of stones. He threw it to the ground and said, and grind it to powder and say, ye rebels, drink of it. God forbid that worship. God say you can't worship me to Egyptian God. He said to Israel when they were going into the land, into the promised land, he said to Israel, Israel, when you go over there, don't you follow the ways of the heathens. Don't you, never you, worship me through dear feast days, through their way of worship. I have my own way of worship. And you as children of God should never use a pagan worship to worship the true God. God says, don't you follow them. When you go over them, don't read over there, don't read their books. Don't get involved in the things they do. He said, separate yourself. Come on, somebody. So it's wrong to use a pagan worship to worship the true and living God. Are you coming with me? And if you don't believe me, go read the book of Jeremiah. The reason why Judah end up in Babylon is because they were worshiping God true Babylonian worship. And God was grieved. And God sent them over there. Say, you want to worship them? Go on. And while they were in Babylon, they are under pressure because the Babylonians don't want to hear them worship Jehovah. Oh, Jesus, in their land. Can you imagine? You want, you want to take the Babylonians real worship in your land and worship Jehovah. But when you reach over there, you have to start praying and say, how oh, can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? We have to hang up our harps. We reach the worship as so a slap your neighbor, say neighbor. It is wrong to take Babylonian feast day and put it in the church. Oh Jesus, come on, slap your neighbor and say neighbor, we don't call this season Easter. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't worship Easter. Where is the worshipers in here? Come on, tell your neighbor. No, we don't. We don't separate and get bunny bun bun with cheese, cheese, cheese. 
Egg, egg, egg. Where is the warriors in this kind of flat man? Dry bunny rabbit out of here. Open your mouth and say something. Slap that god of fertility and kick him until he move from off the island. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of tight. I'm pushing in tonight. Where is the believers? Come on, say something. Hallelujah to God. So number one, and we, we know how it goes. We know how it goes. We know how it goes. We know that it is we as Christians, we should not follow the ways of the heathens. So we have to know the truth. Tell somebody you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That's the power of truth. Truth makes. Oh Jesus, just as how the rain fall. And when it hits the ground. Hallelujah. It's the power of the rain. And the substance mixed with the earth. The trees have to grow. The grass have to grow. Oh Jesus. So is it when the truth hit you. Oh, Shia, that's what makes you free when the truth enters in your spirit. Oh, Jesus, something begin to change. It makes you free. Come on, somebody. And so we understand then that, hallelujah, these of these days, they worship the sun God. Because they say the sun make it full access on this uh, uh, around the earth, the earth make it full access, and and, the, and that day they say it is the twenty fifth of the twelfth month, and they worship in Babylon. They worship that day as the birth of the sun, but when Constantine became the emperor of Rome, oh, he changed the name. He said not the birth of the sun because he said the two. To religion, but tell somebody Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is not a religion. We are kingdom believers. We are kingdom citizens. And he said the two religions have so many things in common. And so because of that, he changed the name of their feast days and gave them Christian name. And Christmas Christ. Have a mass for Christ. Christmas, Christmas. And Easter. Tar. Come on, somebody, change the name. But we want to deal with that tonight. Can we deal with that tonight? And he said that the birth of the sun, he changed it from the birth of the sun to the birth of the son of God. Are you coming with me? We are in the season, man. Touch your neighbors. So we are in the season. Let's fix it a little bit. Hallelujah. And so they worship. And so Rome take over. And Rome give the pagan feast days and the pagan images they gave them christian names and so now babylon rome is in christianity but it has on cloak it's hidden in the truth are you coming with me please and so i want to talk a little bit tonight because here we see now huh, that we learn that when jesus was born shepherds were somewhere you're coming with me shepherds were in the field Ah, oh, Jesus, and somebody said, Bishop, over back in Israel, in the twenty, in the twelfth month, can shepherd be in the field? And a little bit of talking, and somebody said, No, it's too cold. And, 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 and then I said, All right, I gotta dig for myself. Oh, Jesus, I went to Israel. And when I hear it, I think it was in October, and it was getting cold. And they said, Bishop, another month, you got to cloak up because over this side, when it reached November, December, it's really cold. But then I need to go in tonight. If you are coming, say amen. We are at Luke chapter 2. Come on, somebody. We are at Luke chapter 2. And let's see the birth of Christ. Let's see if the birth of Christ is what we are celebrating now. If the birth of Christ is in the 12th month. Can we go in on that? Oh, Jesus. Verse 7. Luke 2, 7. Are you there? And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger 
because there was no room for them in the inn. No room. Can you imagine the king is coming to earth and there's no room in the hotel for him. Uh, you're coming with me. The king is coming and there is no room, no preparation for the king. But thanks be to God. We are at verse 8. Are you at verse 8? They were in the same country, shepherds, somebody says shepherds, abiding in the field, watching over their flocks by night. And this is what blows my mind because, because these shepherds were in the field and they were in the field at night. Keeping their flock in the Talmud. That's the rabbinic book. Rabbis in Israel, they have their book. And in, among them, the rabbis say that shepherd only be in the field between the ending of March to the second week of April because of the springtime. So the, the, the rabbis over in Israel, they teach us that shepherds are only in the field in the springtime. And that's between the 20th of March to the second week of April. They are not just keeping their sheep in pens. Bible never said they were keeping sheep in pens. The Bible said they were out in the field. And the Bible said at night. So the question is this. Because this is strange now. They are in the field. And they are in the field at night. Why would they be out in the field at night? Oh, Shia. Can I go in on that, please? There is only one time of the year when shepherds would be out in the field at night. Just one time in the year. This happened only in springtime. And all hours during that time, the shepherds are busy in the field why are they watching their flocks at that time why are they why are, why are they out there what are they doing out there because this particular time is when sheep give birth to lamb now hear me now please hear me now you have to understand this sheep don't have lamb any and any time of the year. It's, they are not like humans. Sheep only give birth once per year. And they only give birth in the springtime. Are you coming with me? Yes, sheep only give birth during spring. And at that time the bible said shepherd now they were in the field at night why are they in the field at night they are watching because the sheep cannot have lamb any hour so they're watching for birth are you coming with me come on somebody touch your neighbor say neighbor you have lambing season come on somebody i say you have lambing season and at that season shepherds eyes got to be open oh jesus because they have to be there when the sheep is giving birth that's why they are out there watching. So typically in the spring, which is lambing, which is the lambing season, shepherds are out in the field. They are watching for any bird. Lamb only give birth once per year. Unlike us, lambs are only born in springtime. Can I go in? No, please. Now, this is the month of 
Nissan. So lambing season is in Le Nissan. The month Nissan is the Hebrew in the Hebrew calendar is the month of sheep giving birth. Oh, Shia, you're coming with me. So the reason why the shepherds were out there, they were looking to see if any sheep give birth. But I stopped by to tell you what a perfect time. Oh, Jesus. For the God of heaven to give birth to his lamb while the shepherds were looking because their sheep is giving birth to the lamb. Jesus, the lamb of God, was born. Are you coming? Can I go in? for five more minutes oh Jesus of course shepherds of course shepherds they were watching for the birth of lamb oh Jesus Messiah is the lamb of God and Messiah now while they were looking out there their eyes were wide open oh Jesus guess what begin what happened all on a sudden verse 8 says that they were in the country the shepherds and they were out there in the night oh Jesus and the Bible said and lo the angel of the Lord came unto them and the glory of God shone around them oh Jesus are you with me tonight and they were so afraid but the angel said unto them fear not for behold I bring good tidings of great joy which oh Jesus shall be good for all people for unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior who is Christ the Lord so the Messiah was born oh Shia in the season of lambing and when they were looking God said you are looking for your sheep but this night in Bethlehem of Judea, my lamb. What a good time for his lamb to born because he's fulfilling. Oh, Jesus, the lamb that was in Exodus, the lamb. You're not coming in a man, touch your neighbor and said, Have your way, Holy Ghost. They were looking for the birth of lamb. And where was he? He was in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is two Hebrew words, Beth and Lamb. And that is house of bread. Just the Messiah opened his mouth and said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. So in the house of Bethlehem, the house of bread, guess who is born? The Lamb of God. Are you coming with me? I want to take five more. Jesus say he's the bread. We know that, don't it? Come on, somebody. And so in Bethlehem, oh Jesus, the bread is there. Now, Bethlehem is where lamb that would use in the temple for sacrifice was grown. Watch this. The Messiah was born at the time and at the place where sacrificial lamb was born. So it is in Bethlehem they would grow the sheep and take the sheep from Bethlehem and bring them to Jerusalem while the shepherd were in Bethlehem looking for birds for dear lambs for dear sheep fit for sacrifice God lamb is born in Bethlehem 
Are you coming with me? Somebody say clue, 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 clue. Touch two people, tell them clue. We're going in. Don't worry yourself. We're going in. Exodus 12 verse 3. It says, Speak you unto all the congregation of Israel, saying on the tenth day of this month. The month is called Nisan. Somebody say this month. It's called Nisan. The ten day, oh Jesus, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to their house and their father's house. And this lamb is the this lamb should be come on, you're coming with me. This lamb should be one year old old and the lamb they're going to use for the Passover we're in Exodus are you with me Jesus command he command Moses tell the people that they should take a lamb bring it into their home and use it as the Passover sacrifice the Passover lamb the lamb must be one year old are you coming with me so a lamb, which is a year old, which is a year old, at the Passover time, that means this lamb would have to be born one year earlier. This lamb was born during springtime last year. So the lamb that God command Israel. To take into their home, keep it from the tent, sacrifice it the 14. This lamb must be a, a male lamb which is one year old. Are you coming with me? Mm, that simply means the same time the lamb is sacrifice would be the same time the lamb was born because if the lamb are one year old last year this time him born next year this time him a one year old so the same time him born so if you want to know when him born just look on when he's all right take our time i'm bringing a I'm taking it up there little by little. The Passover lamb dies at Passover. Tell your neighbor, the Passover lamb dies at Passover. Jesus, the Passover lamb, died on the day of Passover. You're not coming with me, no man. Not take my time, you know. Shia Basaya. <laughs> yes. But the lamb is also born in Passover, which is Nisan, spring, it is he the same time, it is, it, it dies the same time it was born. Somebody say, clue, take your time, Bishop, clue, we're going in, clue, Jesus died on the feast of Passover. The lamb was crucified on the on Passover day. So the lamb in Israel, we are fast forward now, you know, because Moses is gone off the scene. I'm God, because God tell Moses, you must do this. Moses passed off the scene and now uh, 2,000 years fast forward. Jesus is on the scene now. Are you coming with me? Jesus is the Passover lamb. Jesus was crucified the day of Passover. When and when did he rise from the dead? He rose and the other Hebrew calendar, uh, Hebrew holiday. I have to explain that. Jesus died on a Hebrew holiday. Every year, Israel celebrates the Passover feast 
and the Passover day, Israel killed a lamb. When Jesus came, Jesus was crucified on the Passover day. Jesus resurrect on another holiday. Jesus resurrect on the day of the first fruit. You're coming with me. I'm, don't worry, I'm going to teach you till I get it. Where is the worshipers? So when the first fruit was lifted up of the earth, when they celebrate the first fruit, they will lift up that sacrifice. Lift it up. Raise it to God. Jesus resurrect that day. So the day of Passover, Jesus died. And the day of Shia Messiah, first fruit, he was risen. That signified the new life. New life. Somebody say new life. The Bible said Jesus is the first fruit of the dead. The next holiday in Israel is Pentecost. Somebody say Pentecost. Hallelujah. So you have Passover. You have you have you have first fruit and you have, then you have Pentecost. Pentecost in the Hebrew is a Hebrew word for is the Hebrew Shavuot. And Shavuot means the feast of the fruits or the feast of the feast of weeks. It's another holiday in Israel. Moses celebrate that feast day. He told them to celebrate the feast. Hallelujah. The feast of Pentecost in Hebrew is called the feast of weeks. Now, let's go down to business a little bit. Everything happened on a Hebrew holiday. Everything significant happened in Jesus' life happens on a Hebrew holiday. His entrance to Jerusalem was a Hebrew holiday. Are you coming with me? His death was on a Hebrew holiday. His resurrection was on a Hebrew holiday. The day the Holy Ghost was given was on a Hebrew holiday. So let me ask you a question. Let's do the maths. What about his birth? You don't think his birth should be on a Hebrew holiday too? You're coming with me, man. Wave your hand if you're still in church. God is very specific and absolute. If it is going to happen on a Jewish holiday, it's going to happen on a significant holy day of Israel. Question. Which one? Which holy day that have to do with his birth? Which holy day? Shia. What does his birth signify? Shia Basa. Come on, somebody wave your hands. It begins when it starts the first. It starts with the first fruit. It starts with the Passover. And the age begins with the feast of the Passover. And it ends with the feast of tabernacles. So the age begins with the, the, the feast of Passover. And it ends with the feast of tabernacle. Oh Jesus with the Messiah on the cross. It ends with tabernacle. When God will come down on tabernacle with us. So the month named Nisan. Somebody said the month named Nisan. It means the word Nisan means beginning. 
The month of Nisan is the month of beginnings. Shia Basad. Oh, Jesus. You know why I feel so nice going slow? Shia Basad. I don't have to rush nothing because it's God who give it to me. Every time Jesus fulfill a holy day, he's not just fulfilling the time, but the theme. Shia Basa, the theme of that holy day, he fulfill it. Oh, Jesus, for example, the Passover. He dies on Passover that holy day. I repeat it so many times. First fruit, he rose from the grave. Oh, Jesus, now there is only one day in the Jewish calendar that has to do with birth. And that is new beginnings. That holiday speak of everything new. Are you coming with me? Shia Basaya. There is one day and it happens to be Nissan 1. That one day, Nissan one, the first day of Nissan is the very beginning of the Hebrew year. The very day that begins everything. It is the beginning of the year in Jewish calendar is not Rosh Hashanah, oh Jesus. But the first day of Nisan is the real new year on God's calendar. The first of Nisan, it is the day that changed the calendar. The first of Nisan, the old calendar is gone and the new calendar gives birth. What did the Messiah do when he come into this world? His birth changed the calendar. The old calendar is changed. His birth ushers a new era. Everything before is called BC. And everything after his birth is AD. That's the power of the Messiah's birth. It changed the calendar. There is only one day in the Hebrew calendar that matches that. And it is Nisan 1. Oh Jesus, the calendar changed. What is the most exact shadow of the birth of the incarnation. I'm coming in, please. Give me two more. Tell the neighbor, just give him two more, please. Hallelujah. You can go back on YouTube and Facebook and sit down and just eat up. Just sit down and listen and put these scriptures together. I know apostolic love when the preacher. Ha, ha, yes, but guess what? Church is more than hack. Church is teaching too. So your teaching priest is going to teach you something. Hallelujah. He's going to dig in the word and bring out some stuff that the natural reader just can't see. Come on. So now which one of the Hebrew holiday? Oh Jesus that is the exact shadow of the birth of the incarnation of the Messiah. Oh Jesus in the Old Testament glory to God this is the holiday that changed the whole calendar and God says to Moses when this is done 
this shall be the beginning of the year unto you oh shire where is the worshippers? I'm going in and a man. I'm give me two more man. Give me two more man. I love loud shouting too much man. Give me two more. Come on, somebody. The shadowing is this. It is the tabernacle. So wish Hebrew teaching uh, match with the birth. Oh, tell somebody the tabernacle the tabernacle god tabernacling with man when they camp at mount sinai god command moses moses i want you to build me a tabernacle i want you to build me a mishkan oh jesus a dwelling place that I can come and tabernacle, dwell with my people. I stop by to tell you that the gospel of John chapter 1, echo it please, John chapter 1 and verse 14. John bring out this. The word become flesh and made his dwelling place among us. The word is dwelling in his tabernacling. In other words, you see, Jesus is God tabernacle with man. Oh, Jesus. When Jesus become man, oh, he's fulling, fulfilling what took place in the Old Testament. The tabernacle that Moses Bill was a shadow of God tabernacling with man. When the fullness take place, he said, and the word become flesh and tabernacled with us. Who am I preaching to the Greek word? For dwelling in the New Testament is the same word for tabernacle in the Old Testament. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? Pitch his tent. Somebody said pitch his tent. Yes, the Bible speak of the word tabernacle. Intent refers to being in flesh. God incarnate. The Bible gave us clues. Are you coming with me? I want to pull somebody in a man. Touch your neighbor. Say, make sure this one is on the line. Clues. Somebody said, let make sure this one is on the line. The Bible gave us clue when we didn't even see it. Oh Jesus, I five years now me I carry this in my belly, you know. Five years now, me I carry this revelation on my belly and can't talk. And five years, you know, when I say when me come on, you know, hear me preach every, every, every Lord supper, and I talk about God. So you must discern the body, examine the body. Uh, I me tell us that the body is the same body in the Old Testament. The lamb that Moses said them to kill. Are you coming with me? The lamb when Moses. Moses tell them to kill. He said, everybody must kill the lamb. You know? Everybody must eat the lamb, but you must discern the lamb. When you come to Lord's Supper, if you're sick with your eye, when you come to Lord's Supper, discern the body and eat the eye. If you have foot problem, eat the foot of the lamb. If you have belly problem, make sure you eat the belly. And the Bible said when they left Egypt, nobody was feeble. Nobody was, nobody was sick. Everybody was completely healed. I walk with it in my belly. And God showed me this thing. Can I bring it out please? So now the shadowing is the tabernacle. And when God become flesh, he fulfill that shadow. Oh Jesus, are you coming with me? Are you in church? Ask your neighbor, are you here? Are you here? Did he tabernacle with us? God is putting on flesh tent. It is a symbol of God dwelling with man. Mishkan, tabernacle, tent incarnation. When was the tabernacle bill? Just after the children of Israel encamp at Mount Sinai, God speak to Moses and say, build me a tent, a tabernacle. 
Shaya Basaya. How long does it take for a child to move from conception to birth? Huh? Come your mouth, man. She must say nine months, man. Nine months, yes. Nine months, nine months, nine months, nine months. How long did the tabernacle take Moses from conception to completion? Exact nine months. Are you coming with me? Why exact nine months? Oh, Jesus, the Bible even gave us the date. Oh, Jesus, when he taught the tabernacle and when the tabernacle was complete. Yeah, you're coming with me. Can I go in on that? The tabernacle was finished. Oh, Jesus, Exodus 40, verse 1 and verse 2. The Bible said that on the first day of Nisan, Oh, Shia. Oh, the tabernacle was finished. What are you trying to say, Bishop Winston George Baker? I come here to tell you that. Oh, Moses took nine months. And it shows us when he start. And it was finished. And the first of Nisan. Because it was the shadowing of God. God tabernacled with man. Come on, Nisan. It is the beginning of spring. Why? Why Nisan won? It is the day when everything becomes new. Shaya Basaya. Everything else is old. What are you saying, Winston? When Messiah presence comes, everything before it old. Everything now new. Where is the worshippers? The power of Messiah's presence is to make everything new. Shia. Shandavasaya. The power that makes everything new. Oh, Jesus. You better slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Anytime Messiah's presence usher into anybody's life, everything becomes new. If any man be in Christ, all things are passed away and behold all things becomes new Nissan one oh Jesus new beginning oh it's the month of beginnings it's the month when God shine in and drive out everything that have you in bandage I want to take five minutes and bring out this thing, you know, because some people still in the past, some people is wondering where much I say we receive his present and everything turn around anytime Jesus present enters into your life. Come on, we usher into newness. Oh, Jesus, slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Romans 6, verse 4 said that we should walk in newness of life. The power of Messiah changes the calendar, the power of Messiah ushering a new season, the power of Messiah bring forth spring and spring is the season things 
start afresh. Who am I preaching to? You better slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Every time we worship, every time we praise, every time we enter into his presence, we enter into day one. Anytime we enter in his glory, we are in Nissan one. We are in beginnings. Kalinda change a new day dawn for you. Come on, somebody. Where is the worshippers? When you enter in his presence, problem become the past. Sickness become the past. You better reach your neighbor, say neighbor. If you ever usher yourself with praise into his presence, you can look on hell and say, Hell, you should have shown my past and me before I enter in this and one who am I talking to come on where are the worshippers it's kind of a little bit too tight oh Jesus where are the worshippers where are the warriors? Just tell your neighbor, neighbor, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that is ushered into beginnings, to them that are ushered into the new season, to them that are ushered. Oh, Shia, into day one, we can experience newness of life as long as we are in his presence. As long as you are in his presence, you are experiencing the newness of life. No condemnation, no demon can block you, no witch can stop you. Oh, Shia, everything that was contrary is now in the past all things are behind come on and we can get a refreshment because we are in beginnings who am I talking to oh tell the neighbor new covenant newness the covenant of newness who am I talking to when you usher when you are born again when you are entering into this covenant you can open your mouth and say new covenant everything that I did before I enter his presence is old covenant the calendar is changed oh lord I'm living a new life come on somebody the past is wiped who am I preaching to who am I preaching to it never gets old when you are in Jesus it never gets old if you just learn how to walk into his presence enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise for in the presence of the Lord there are fullness of joy and at his right hand they are pleasures forevermore tell somebody it never gets old judge your neighbor say it never gets old it's a new covenant it's a new agreement every morning you wake God enters a new covenant with you when you wake up you're waking up to a new agreement when you wake up oh shia you are always experiencing new you better drag your neighbor and say neighbor that's why the devil shift it that's why the devil change it because he does not want you to walk in newness of life he does not want you to understand what is nissan one you're not coming with me anymore. man all right somebody don't understand nissan one tell anybody say nissan one at april one you never know Oh Jesus, where is the warriors? It's kind of flat. It's kind of a little bit too tight. So drag your neighbor, say neighbor. His birds signify 
newness of life it push back everything old who am I talking to and when you get this revelation the devil is afraid of you come on tell somebody not 24 at the 12 we are staying in the world come on the same day the same season that the Passover die is the same season that it born so if you want to win him born just look at his death we are in the week the resurrection week who am I talking to crucifixion week who am I talking to show your head back open your mouth and slap that dragon listen to me now warriors you're coming with me listen to me when I was doing this with church I discovered some stuff I discovered that in the Vatican there is a document that is hidden that the Messiah was dark skin tell the neighbors that we are not preaching color please but they have it in the Vatican that the Messiah was dark skin and they have it in the Vatican that Messiah was born Nissan one now in Julius Caesar calendar or the Hebrew calendar are you coming with me Nissan one was the beginning of the year but when Pope Gregory the Thirteen becomes he took the different calendars and he changed it from April 1 to January 1 but according to the word are you coming with me are you coming with me can I punch one more please are you coming with me all right listen this now it's the only day in the year they call all fools there I question to ask you why do I call it all fools there you tell me why uh, why the devil afraid of this day sir they call it all fool I who them call fool where is the worshippers in here man it's kind of a little bit too stiff <laughs> Because somebody believes a bishop will preach himself. Me not preach myself, me not preach Bible. Shanda Messiah. Oh Jesus. And so they change it. Somebody said they change it. But Exodus 1 say. Exodus 12 verse 1 say. It shall be new year. Unto you. Where is the worshippers? Now. Now look at this. Next year, next year, base on the moon. Next year, April 1, I got shift. Passover, I got shift. The Passover is going to be in the middle of the month. Are you coming with me? So next year, you know, I'm going to see Easter. Easter Monday. Now I'm going to be April too. Are you coming with me? You come to church tonight? If you come to church, look in your Bible. Let me show you something. So, Pope Gregory, these popes, the calendar that we use is pattern or use from the sun. The Jewish calendar is not from the sun. The Jewish calendar is from the moon. Somebody say moon, month. That's what the word month, moon. Are you coming with me? Go to Exodus. Go to Exodus. I want to close off with this. Exodus. Somebody say Exodus. Chapter 12. Shayabasa. Are you at Exodus chapter 12? Shayabasa. 
Verse 2, this, is, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Now, speak unto the children and all the congregation of Israel saying, saying what? In the tenth day, you must take the lamb into your house. Anybody know Sunday gone when they call it? Huh? Anybody know Sunday gone when they call it? You know why they call it Palm Sunday? Or his triumphant entry in Jerusalem? Huh? You know what it means? Let me tell you. It's the first commandment. It's the first holiday God gave to Israel. He said, take the lamb into your house. The translation said, accept the lamb, seize the lamb, take, accept, receive the lamb. So, if you're going to get a new year, if you're going to experience freedom from bondage, you got to accept the lamb. Keep the lamb for three days. Watch me, I have two things to show you. Now, Palm Sunday, which is the final week of Messiah on earth. When he was coming into Jerusalem, he was coming into Jerusalem on a donkey on a Hebrew holiday. He was entering to the temple riding on a donkey when Israel was carrying their lamb. So, the celebration of Exodus. 2,000 years later, Israel is celebrating that holiday. And all Israel is coming to the temple with the, the lamb to be sacrificed. And while they were bringing the lamb to the temple to be sacrificed, God lamb was riding. Oh Jesus, can I find 10 people in here? And I, he was fulfilling oh Jesus that he is the Passover lamb you better slap your neighbor say all that is happened one time one week then I come with me in a man where is the worshippers take him the tent oh Shia preacher you got Bible school come here let me give you something give you something heavy and hard you ready for it son Watch me now. God say, take the lamb that is in Israel, 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 e, that's in Egypt. Bring the lamb into your house. In other words, when Messiah come, accept Messiah. When Messiah come, receive Messiah. When Messiah come, hold on, see. Shia Basha, you're coming with me. Oh, Jesus. And Palm Sunday, no Messiah. When they were carrying their physical lamb to the temple. Oh, Jesus. The heavenly father was bringing his lamb riding on a horse. And when he go in a temple, seize him. Oh, Shia. Oh, Jesus. You ready for it now, son? You ready for it now? Oh, somebody said the 10th. To the 14th. Messiah was crucified and Passover day. Passover is in the middle of the month. So, watch this. This month here, we will get a better understanding next month. Next year, sorry. The 10th to the 14th. You are now at the middle of the month. Now, you have new moon and you have full moon. Full moon is when the moon is at its full place. Now, oh, Jesus, you're coming. So, now, when was Messiah crucified? Somebody said full moon, I'm on 14. When the mid, in other words, he's fulfilling everything. Messiah is taking. 
right in the middle of the month, the full moon Messiah. He's going to fulfill everything. We are the worshipers in here. I know some of you don't get it yet. You know. Somebody said at the beginning and not the middle. So at full moon. So the church, the Jews, the Hebrews calendar is based on the moon. We are the warriors in here. We are all the believers in here. And so now when you talk about mission one, you speak of when he makes everything new. He start over everything. The birth of Jesus start over everything. I tell you what the birth of Jesus did. Somebody was reading a piece of documents. And that document is over 2,000 years old. And they say that there was this oracle. And the oracle was speaking on behalf of this demon god. What's his name again? Some Greek god. And the Greek god was saying that they can't do nothing since Messiah come. Let me say something to you. You believe in the three, four thousand years ago when the Greeks are talking about Hercules and the Greeks are talking about Zeus and the Greeks are called these names and people are worship them. You believe it was myth? I'm here to let you know, no, a principality is named, sir. A fallen angel will fall. Come down upon earth and have people that worship them. So when you talk about Zeus and you talk about uh, Aphrodite, that's, what, that's the one was Aphrodite speaking through the, the, the oracle and, and was saying that she have no power since Messiah come. The birth of Messiah drive out all principalities out of the earth. His light push back darkness and all those demon gods that they used to worship. That's why you hear no mention of Aphrodite and of Zeus and all these gods because they were real and they used to give man power. Where is the worshippers in here, man? But since Messiah enters into the world, the presence of God came into the earth and pushed back. Oh, Shia. When Messiah died, it was in the full of the moon. He came and declared in his fullness that all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth what are you trying to say bishop and so god is saying if you ever enter into his presence there is nothing in this earth to block you from experiencing newness of life if you ever tonight ever open your spirit and allow his light to shine into you. You begin to walk in newness of life. He said, son, I know that message is hard to teach. Because you're going to go through a lot of warfare. But son, just preach it and leave it. I'm going to let you write a book about it. Just lick it. No cut it, not chop it. All when you feel the hypocrites. Don't pay them no mind, just preach it. Holy Spirit, and let the church know that 2024, come on somebody, God is doing something. You better reach your neighbor, say neighbor. Book launch is this and one. And this and one mean new beginnings. When you say this and one, you're talking about a new day. You're talking about a new season. You're talking about a shift when darkness is pushed back. I don't know about you, but I came to church one night and my heart was not right. But when his light shine, 
darkness could not comprehend it could not put out his light somebody better throw your head back open your mouth and declare tell your neighbor tomorrow by the time you wake up you are experiencing something in the spiritual realm that only you will know the natural man don't realize that it was on this day messiah pushed back hell this day is born in bethlehem of judah christ the lord the lamb of god open your mouth show your head back release a shout release a shout hear me we're going in and hear me now preacher you hear me i don't know why god may be born for that day you don't hear me i don't know why god let me born on this day me never do nothing for born for the day so i know nothing about me so go take up that with god but then god sent me go do my research and when me do my research he said dig and he bring out and show me and say son so is it in this realm of the spirit so is it in the physical and god said when you go there you tell my people that i want to do something new in their life i don't know about you but I am walking in newness. I don't know about you, but I prophesy from the Gotamos to the uttermost and no devil can stop that. I prophesy from the pit to the palace and no dopey can stop that. I prophesy from condemnation to his congregation you better slap your neighbor say neighbor i prophesy a new season in your life if god do it for your leader god can do it for you you don't believe me preacher you don't believe me you don't believe me set newness just a beginnings 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 of your mouth and prophesy beginnings prophesy season shift spring up your mouth and say something up your mouth and prophesy spring prophesy new beginning oh shanda yeah messiah somebody keep the praises flowing somebody keep the praises flowing somebody up your mouth if God send you tonight, up me your mouth. Up me your mouth. Shia, let the sick prophesy. Let the weak prophesy. Let the tail prophesy. Up me your mouth in here. 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 I said, up me your mouth in here. Up me a mountain here. I come here with a word from God. Up me a mountain here. I say, I come here with a word from God. Up me a mountain here. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, Papa, Sha. Shanda. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show your head back. Shanda Basai. My, my, my. My, my, my. I feel this word. I walk with this word. Pregnant with this word. 
And tonight I'm giving birth to this word. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Right where you are. Right where you are. I declare and decree a new season as Nissan One is in the physical. So I speak Nissan One in the spiritual over you. Shia Basaya, a new calendar. Hands high in the air if God is speaking to you tonight. Shia Basa, what seems impossible shall come in the physical. Lift your hands all over this building. Shia Basa, all over this building, all over this building, all over this building. He said to me, son, I could never use you to declare this before 2024. And he said, son, I set you in the physical to show that I can do all things. If my newness is released in your life. If my season is released, nothing is impossible. Come here, sister. I want to use your testimony. Run, come here. I want to use your testimony. Keep the praises on, warriors. Keep the praises on, warriors. Hallelujah. We have... We have written three books before now. We have two other books that is not released. One hundred and something page and another. You're hearing me. We have never pushed a book launch like this one. And we have never got get so much fight like this one. Because there's something about this book. I believe an anointing is flowing with this book. Where is the worshipers in here? Where is the worshipers in here? Now I promise you this. I'm going to build a little, little small notebook. With this revelation in it. So that every member can get one. With this revelation. I'm going to make sure it is jumped with scriptures Shaya Basaya from the guttermost to the uttermost missionary Mitzi she live in United Kingdom she bought one of the book on Amazon and she said she started to read the book and while she was reading the book tears just started to fall from her eyes. She said she couldn't stop reading the book and she said there was a key in the book. A key how to pray and move God. She said she read and pray to God. She prayed because she wanted to come to Jamaica. She needed her English book. They hold on to it and don't want to let it go. Shayabasa. And she said she read and pray. She released the key. And she said three days later, her book was in her mail. She said, she said, Bishop, Bishop, this is how UK run. If they bring your package and there is no one to sign, they will never leave it. But guess what this time? Her passport was left for her. 
She said, Bishop, I believe it's angels that went from her passport and bring it to my house. Ah, Jesus, somebody said, Nissan one mean a new move. It means everything old is gone. And you walk in your newness. I don't know about you, but I'm living in my newness. You don't believe me, Elder Barrett? Come here, Elder Barrett, come here. Somebody say, Bishop, I know you don't know this, but listen to this, Bishop. You see the house that you come out of is the Gautamus. And you see the one that you live in now is the Otamus. So God put the Otamus beside the Gautamus. So every time you see the Otamus, you remember that he's taking it from the sky in a flood. You better drag your neighbor and say, that's what God is going to do in my life. You better tell somebody and tell him that's what God is going to do in my life. Come on. The old is only there for remembrance. But the old can't do nothing to your newness. Where is the worshippers? You better throw your head back. Open your mouth if you believe. God is shifting. God is shifting. He's shifting. He's pushing back. Generational curse. Hands high. Now they are talking about King Jesus member show off. You hear them? They are call you show off. You old country boy. From upper, where was your name? Grange. And Una call we, call we country boy. And boy we show off. I slap that dragon and say get out of here. Oh Jesus, because they hear them now, hear them now, hear them now, hear them now. The old country boy, they are playing. I take picture of playing. You better slap somebody and ask them, what you did there? When me I ride bicycle. What you did there, we have, not even have bird selfie ticket. I know me I travel here and fight. You don't know if I'm Gautamus. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? I'm by the authority given to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today I declare that your Nissan one begins where is the worshippers in here where is the warriors in here where is the believers in here you better lift your hands in this house I said lift your hands in this house speak unto the congregation of Israel saying this month will be beginnings of months unto you you tell them that the new year just are going to start tomorrow when the light your new year just has start I don't care what Pope Gregory has said I don't care what Pope Julius has said it's what heaven has to say At tomorrow my year start you know hear me I say at tomorrow my ears start at tomorrow my breakthrough start at tomorrow my victory start Shia yeah Messiah take hold your palm take hold your palm branch take hold your olive branch and start waving the king right in King Jesus right in King Emmanuel, somebody call him in. Come by here, King Jesus. Come by here, King Emmanuel. Somebody need you. Lift up your head. Oh, he gets and be he lifted up. Shia Baha, Ya Messiah, Ya Papa. Two hands in here, understand this, please. I don't want you to forget. This season is a different season. This season begin, it means birth. What this season mean? Birth. Now, it's different from Abraham's time. Jacob and Isaac time and Moses and, and Elijah time. Now, this season 
The light so bright. You're not fighting no back. You're no principality, you no argument. When Peter, Paul, and John they step out, yes, sir. no dopey could knock them out. You have one little girl. You have one little girl. We have one spirit of divination. Yes, sir. When Paul show up, him and Silas, yes. you know what the divination demons and little girl do? I walk behind Paul and Silas like pip puppy dog. Yes, sir. Oh, the, it, the power where them walk with the demon and the little girl of your church shoot. Yes. Yes. After I preach about Paul, these men oh, are men of the most high God. Yes. They are the ones that show us the way of salvation. These men are men of the most high God. They are the ones that show us the way of salvation. These men. In other words, the demons that have nothing in power. Oh, Shia. What make your things say you never see Bishop a battle with no demon? You ever see me a battle with demon yet? Me not have no time for that. Where is the worship? A demon over this attack. I mean, I no time for that. A demon just here try to attract me. Here, demon, no, here, demon, no. No, me baker come over here. Where is the worship? I in here. Me not have to go over there for rebuke demon. I stay right out here with the mic. And I say, get out! The demon bow out. Yes, me I go, me I go, me I go. Where is the worship? Where is the warriors? I knew they had this. A new day this, where is the believers in here? A new day this, when the power of the Messiah is on display. Lift your hand, if you come. If you're willing to come. I'm here in service. And Shia. Where is Brother Bola? I was here in service. Brother Bola, come here. I was here in service. Shia Basa. Ya Messiah. Keep the praises on. Brother Bola, come here. Hallelujah. Keep the praises flowing. Come on, keep the praises flowing. Keep the praises flowing. Somebody keep the praises. Somebody keep the praise. Come on, keep the praise in your mouth. We'll at least one more shout of praise. Give me, give the Lord Jesus one more shout of praise. Open your mouth and praise him which is, which was and is to come. Brother Bolo, I'm going to testify about your daughter. Come here. Take this rug. Your daughter shall be a missionary in the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Remember, Bishop, tell you that. Where is the worshippers in here? Now, listen to me now. Listen to me. I was here preaching. And when I look, a young lady was at the altar. And I saw one Sunday night. And I saw officers around the little girl. Then when I look, I saw bishops. Yes, bishop for overseas and Jamaica at the girl. And while they were there praying, I realized that them gone. And the girl is still lying there. A nurse was over the little girl. And the nurse tests her pulse. And the nurse leave the little girl and sit down there. And the nurse was trying to signal me. She was telling me there's no pulse. There is no pulse. There is no pulse. And while she was saying that, God was ministering to me. God said, preach my word. 
I can't forget the night I preached the message never again. Anytime God, anything God take you from, speak to that thing and say never again. Anything God deliver you from, speak to that thing and tell it never again. If God heal you from cancer, speak to cancer and say never again. If God deliver you from disease, speak to disease and say never again. If God set you free from court case, speak to court case and say And she was there signaling me until she got up and went out. She said, Bishop, I was outside crying because I know she's dead. And now all I'm seeing is problem in the church. But all I did was preach. God didn't call me to raise dead. God called me to preach. So me I do what God called me to do. And anything you want to use me to do, then he will do it. If I'm playing my part, he'll play his part. You know, God, me can't play God part. Me can't only be a preacher part. And God play divinity. Where is the worship as man? Say something in here, man. Shayabasa. And while I was preaching, Shanda, I hear the Holy Ghost say she is dead. Where is the believers? Where is the warriors? I hear the Holy Ghost say she is dead. And the Holy Ghost said, I wanted to go for her and call her back. That's when I get the revelation that hell or earth have seven different challenge, ch ch channels, channels, like hoes, channels. When a person dies, they go through one of that. Immediately, I was in the spirit and I saw them and the Lord showed me, said, that one. And the Lord, bring me in that one. And the Lord said, call her spirit back into her. You're not hearing me. And as I was at the, the, the entrance of the of the channel. And 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 and, and I call her by name. What's your name again, preacher? Abigail. Abigail. And I said, Abigail! Hallelujah. Abigail! In the name of Jesus, come! I could hear the words echoing and going through the channel. Who am I talking to? Where are the believers in here? Somebody said, today is Sunday. And you know what Sunday is today? It's Resurrection Day. Who am I talking to? Resurrection power is in this house tonight. Where are the believers? Jesus said, Oh, Jesus, at the tomb of Lazarus, roll the stone away. Oh, shire. And then he pushed his head and he said, Lazarus! Lazarus! Foot. when I call her name I could see the words going miles echoing out of the earth going and the word hit her Shayabasa. the word hit her and our spirit stop. Shayabasaya. And like a lightning. Her spirit came back in her body. I was over her. And all I feel was a heartbeat. Oof. You're not hearing me. You can go back and look on it in somewhere on Facebook. Oh Jesus and YouTube. And when her spirit come back in her, I said, pick her up. Immediately, she was alive again. The sickness that she had went. The problem that she had went. When she get up out of death, she was completely delivered. It's 10 people in here. Believe that resurrection power is in this house tonight. And anything that is dead in your life, resurrection power is going to push it out. Shanda. No poverty. Shayabasa. No addiction. No generational curse. The light of Jesus Christ. 
shall push it out of your life 200 years. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. The year just begin. Your breakthrough just start. Your ministry just begin. Your gifts just begin. Shanda, lift your hands in the air. Shaya basa. A supernatural release. A supernatural move. Shaya, lift your two hands, get ready. Shanda, I feel the power of God. Yamashaya. When we praise him, we are expecting his presence to sweep in. Sweep in our lives. Sweep in every dark place. Oh, every hidden sin. Every weakness. His presence shall sweep in and push back. And give us deliverance. Get ready. Shia, I prophesy. Before December 31st, you shall receive houses and lands, businesses, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, your bills paid off, your sickness be miraculously disappear and the return of everything hands eye that the enemy has stolen if you're in agreement with me you're gonna praise him until his presence sweeping oh jesus you're gonna praise him until you feel him in your belly you're gonna praise him until a shift take place you're gonna praise him until he push back hell you're gonna praise him until he take you from the bottomus and shift you in the uttermost one two three shout Shout again! Shout again! Come on, shout! 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 Yes, shout! Yes, that's a shout! Yes! Shout! 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 Yes! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it. It's yours! Take it! Take it! Shut up! Take it! It's yours! Come on! Shout! Shout! Yes! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! Take it! It's yours! He's making all things new! He's making all things new! 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 Walk in your new days! Walk in your new life! Walk in your new ministry. Walk in a new dimension. Walk in the overflow. Walk in the land flowing in milk and honey. Walk in favor. Walk in favor. Walk in grace. Hallelujah. He's doing it. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for your children. He's doing it for your children. Walk. Walk, 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 where do I walk, walk, come on, walk, walk, take it, it's yours, it's my time, 
It's your time. Walk in it. Walk by faith. That's it. It's our season. It's your time. Walk in it. Take it by force. Take it. It's yours. It's yours. No weapon. Flop against it. Shot prosper. It's yours. Walk in your overflow. Walk in your double. Walk in it. It's yours. It's yours. Take it. I don't care. Take it. It's yours. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. Somebody's taking it. Yes, sir. Somebody's taking it. Yes. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. I don't care. It's yours. Take it. It's yours. No weapon. No weapon. Fly against it. Oh God. The host is yours. Oh Shanda. The car is yours. Whatever God promised you. It's yours. Because it's your season. When it's the season. God is gonna pour out. Take it. Take it. Mashanda. Come on, somebody. Get ready, call. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody's taking it. Somebody's taking it. Yeah. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. It's yours. It's yours. I don't care what the enemy say. It's yours. One person is ready to be baptized. Come on. Somebody else need to tap in. Somebody else need to take it. It's yours. It's yours. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir